many of us sort of looking back on our childhood, you know, sort of understand like why you would want so hard to be um, close to a group of your peers and why you would risk so much. Um, so I think without trying to um, speak for Rena Virk, it's an attempt to just to mourn that life and also to cast a wider net for that mourning, like to look at not only who she was, but where she lived and where she died. We talk about bullying, but another term for it is just to say social aggression or violence, and just to look at how many young people actually do experience that, and how many people experience that on a basis of just racialization or the way we look at gender and sexuality and or like what is a beautiful body or what is a, what is a normal body and just saying this happens it happens and it happens much more often than we say it happens there's this process of reflection which i think itself becomes the writing you know where you're you're sort of you're you're watching yourself being pulled into the story and trying to understand like what what's the sort of force that's doing that to you there were so many things about this case that, again, like because there wasn't uh, necessarily uh, explicit physical evidence linking the um, victim to her assailants, and what you were holding on to were like traces of salt or um, a, 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 a splotch of mud on, on jeans, and that poetry allowed for the attention on those incredibly small details to be very concentrated um, and for it to be as equal in terms of gravity in terms of anything else that was happening.